Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to 2064 Read Only Memories. Where we last left off, we spoke to Jess, which was. She was a really, really mean biatch. But she had a very bad past, so I can't blame her. Anyway, let's talk to the focus patron. Patron. Uh, hi. Yes, finally. Hello. Is that it? Give me a few minutes. Oh okay? my god, okay. Just gonna go then. See you later, Majid and Gus. I remember your name. Alright, let's go break it up at the Market Street. Break up those goddamn protesters. Well, there are the protesters. Hey, you assholes, get the fuck out of here. I have to admit that I still find the vandalism of Hayden's apartment puzzling. Yeah. The protests themselves have been entirely peaceful so far. And the human revolution, regardless of the flimsy philosophical ground they stand on, are not a group known for projecting their ideology through unlawful means. The more I research them, the more I have to admit to the statistical conclusion that we're either dealing with a deceptive covert operation scenario, or less likely, a radical splinter group. Mm, I think it's the former. Still, I doubt it will hurt to ask around. Brian Mulberry is there in the center. Alrighty. Mulberry, huh? Fairlight said he was the one to talk to, and my mesh searches confirm that he is the leader of the local chapter of the Human Revolution organization. Huh, hitting two birds with one stone. He's a bit player on the national scene, but he seems charismatic and camera conscious from the video clips I've reviewed. I see. Perhaps we could use that to our advantage? Alright, just lead the way, Turing. So this is the leader, huh? It's kinda shoddy. Stay pure! Alright, got it. Can I talk to the police room? Eh, probably... Hassy! All drinks are made with Hassy, an energy drink that supposedly has recovering properties. Okay. Oh my god. Didn't realize this black slob was actually people. Anyway. Hello there! Would you like to hear about the dangers of our country's unchecked use of genetic modification? No. I have pamphlets! Here, take one! <gasps> pamphlets? Hell yes! I'll listen. <clears throat> uh, Vanek Fairlight said to introduce myself. I have one of his cards here. Oh, yes. Yannick called and said something about an investigation into an apartment break-in? Yep. He didn't elaborate, and I'm not sure how I might be able to assist with this. But if Yannick is involved, I'll do whatever I can. Alrighty. How can I help? We found human revolution graffiti spray painted all over the apartment, and some things were stolen. I was hoping you might be able to point us in the direction of whoever did it. Ah, well, the human revolution certainly does not condone such actions at all. We're a peaceful organization, and threatening people is not going to earn us hearts and minds. Well, I mean, you being there in front of the clinic is kind of bothering people, if you didn't realize already. But... Uh-huh. Off the record, some of our younger members can be a bit overzealous, as any hot-headed teenager tends to be. Forker. I'll look into this matter personally, and if I discover that any of our younger members were involved, they'll be turned into the proper authorities. Okay. I'll also let Yannick know anything I find out. Thanks, Brian. Is there something else I can help you with? Yes, spread the fuck out. My babe, Jess, is getting triggered by you fuckers. I mean, could I ask what some questions? What questions can I answer for you? Uh huh. What are the ultimate goals? We know that. Why protest at this clinic? Genetic modification is one of the most dangerous sciences we've ever fooled around with. It's playing God on the highest order and threatens to unseat what humanity is altogether. 
Cybernetics is a dangerous path as well, selling off pieces of ourselves bit by bit for mechanical strength and resilience, but at least a brain-controlled android is still a human brain, even if in a metal box. There is a reason Congress enacted laws prohibiting highly modified hybrids from breeding. Okay. Now, I do not fault the individuals who come here for treatment, many of whom are disabled and deathly ill. Yeah, motherfucker. If you ask me, genus isn't the kind of therapy they all need. Okay, tell me more. However, we must take a stand against the medical research industry that would have us cast aside our humanity for their miracles. Okay. How do you plan on enacting the social change you want? At our core, we are a peaceful movement and seek only to convince people to vote according to the truths we reveal to them. The human revolution has faith that American democracy will win out in the end. Oh my god, this is so much bullshit. It falls to us to make sure the people are informed about the daunting and confusing technologies they put their senseless faith into every day. Mm -hmm. On a personal level, we would like to exhort every individual to try and live more simply and reject any gadget or medicine that would make us less than we are. Reject any medicine? I mean, sure, gadget, but you gotta live with the times. Uh, I, I suppose that is a okay thing to talk about, but medicine? What the fuck are you even talking about? Medicine is to save lives, help people's lives be better. What the fuck are you on about? That's all I have, bitch. Of course. If you have any other questions, feel free to come back. I always have time for the press. You're pissing me off. Well, that was not as enlightening as I'd hoped it would be. Hmm. Still, it was a statistical anomaly that we encountered Fairlight in the first place. Mm. It was vanishingly unlikely that such a coincidence would lead to finding Hayden. <sighs> the only thing that overcomes hard luck is hard work. Standing here jawing isn't going to find him. Now, what do you think about what he said? I think he was considerably less deluded than my searches on the mesh net had led me to believe. Hmm. I mean, if he was telling the truth. Oh, well, he didn't appear to be lying, but I'm not equipped with interrogation sensors. Right. You have more experience with this than I do. Do you think he was telling the truth? Uh... I don't think he was telling us everything. Hmm. I'll continue observing you and try to discern how to read people as we question them. Sure. A useful skill I find myself sorely lacking in. Lead on. I'm the leader now. And don't forget, we're still here to oh. actually break up these protests. I've Let's always see been if the we leader. We can't figure out a solution together. All right. Make sure to look around and think carefully. I'm sure we'll find something. All right, got it. Uh, weather room. Um, hello. Let's not. Two's company, three's a cloud. Ha 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 ha. Uh, I guess we can just go to the Hassy Bar? Hassy Bar is another favorite local spot that is open 24 7. The best place to find plenty of great new Hassy flavors. Hassy Holdings just released a new Hassy Hot Cup. A disgusting combination of Hot Cup Instant Ramen and Hassy Hot. Doesn't sound that nice. No ramen is that instant. Try inside. We're in the bar. Pure Christmas spirit flows through you momentarily. Oh yeah, it is December after all. I mean in the game. You tap on the glass, the plant doesn't seem to notice. I really do like a good sassy hassy. Assy Hot is also great. VR drama, video games, VR drama. 
Duck Game began as a traditional video game but has recently become a popular VR sport. All the kids are quacking about it. Okay, you look kind of weird. Can I talk to your room? You buy a grassy hassy shot. Yum. You can see the different hassy through the glass, but you can't reach in and grab one. Only the hassy rope can. Alright, I'll talk to you then. Aww, that is the most adorable little rom. What kind of model is it? Where did you get it? It's so moe. Did you really just say moe? Uh, they're a custom model. Oh wow, you don't see a whole lot of those around. Must have taken ages to get that case looking that good, with the home printer too. I'm impressed. Can I get a free hassy? Anyway, what can I get you? Uh, drinkin', maybe some information? A drink I can do, and I guess I have some time to talk. Alright, you are great. Thank you. The protesters outside the clinic are driving off a lot of my regular customers. Alright, you are pissed off about that. I'm pissed off about that too. Let's do something about it. Filling up my bathroom too, jerks. Ugh. Oh, right, because of the protests. So, what do you want to know? Is that your climate control room outside? It does a good job, huh? Yeah, that's mine. Can you make it rain so everybody would fuck off? Well, technically, it's property of Hassy Holdings. But it's yours. We spent some mints on it, but the rest of the block helps pitch in for maintenance costs since I usually set it to patrol the whole area. I see. You should check it out when we do Christmas in July. July? Okay. Looking forward to it. It can cover it. the whole street in snow, as long as it's cloudy enough to keep the sun off. Sort of like today. Would you mind if I take it for a spin? Sorry, but that thing cost me way too many credits to let just anyone poke at it. <sighs> I would need to see some serious credentials before I let you mess with it. Hmm. You know, enough to make sure you can afford to replace it if you break it. I do have Mr. Fairlight's car. Otherwise, no touching. Alright, you called turning Moe? Sorry, attack you speak. Ugh. I just mean he's really cute and lovable, and you kind of want to hug him forever, you know? No. A lot of otaku come around here, probably because I own the place. I'm used to being able to shoot my mouth off and not explain all the jargon. Oh, otaku, as in Japanese cartoons. Yeah, I know it's a bit out of fashion, but I'm a history buff. Glad to see the someone still really in Otaku in the future. Stories of the present. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've been to Tokyo twice already. Wow, twice. That's great. The old Otaku resist the new culture of the Saishi in the same way their parents refuse to give up cassette tapes. Hmm. The Saishi. Sorry, the Saiba Shibito, the cyber dead. The fuck? In the early 21st century, Japan had an epidemic of chronic shut-ins, and the rise of direct link virtual reality only made that worse. Oh my god, Sword Art Online is in this game. No, I'm just kidding, but sounds about right. Suddenly, people weren't just refusing to leave their rooms, they were refusing to leave their heads. But as the technology got better, the Saishi were the first to figure out how to use their own brains to sculpt cyberspace. Ooh, what? Computers are good at thinking in straight lines, but the human brain is capable of so much more. Where have I heard that before? The best virtual landscapes, the most real VR dramas and games are created by the Saishi. I see. Now, even if an earthquake or a meteor or whatever leveled Japan, they still have Neo Tokyo built on the VR net. Um, 
Wouldn't everyone be dead? I don't know. But enough babbling. I don't know what the fuck are you on about. If you're interested, I'm sure you could find more out on the mesh or use an induction helmet to visit Neo Tokyo yourself. I think I'll stay off the virtual reality for now. It's a trip, especially for newbies. I don't think I want to go inside there, get stuck in an online game, can't log out, and die if I die in the game. Anyway, uh, tell me about yourself, you otaku ridden bitch. Oh, I never introduced myself, did I? I'm Ramona. Okay, what is this, Scott Pilgrim? I guess there isn't much to tell. I went to college, got a degree, took out a loan and bought this place. Huh, typical. Now I spend my days trying to find enough time and money to sustain my VR drama addiction. I guess I could get, give VR drama a try, as long as it doesn't suck my brain into another dimension. My priorities are justice, cute stuff, and magical girls, in that order. Uh-huh. Okay, sure. What else? I pretty much don't leave the store. Uh, you don't seem pleased about a human revolution. Look, they've got the right to protest, but I don't have to like it. Once they're done with the hybrids, I know they'll be coming for me next. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? So I'll be voting appropriately. And if I unclog one more toilet because I'm an entitled bigoted jerk face I will lose my goddamn mind you are in charge of unclogging the toilet go fucking hire someone now why would they come after you oh you can't tell I've got a cybernetic arm and leg thanks oh. to an autocad crash when I was a kid I also got neural links for VR interfacing oh okay if it was up to those dinosaurs, I'd be stuck in a wheelchair right now. Or worse, depending on how far back they want to push our medical technology. Yeah, I, I, I've been thinking about that. Like, like, you know, medically, I don't think you should restrict it. Unless, you know... It's already it's illegal for me to have a rocket-powered fist! What more do they want?! <laughs> it's a hard topic to talk about. But at least she's a bit cheerful about it, so... I think that's everything for now. Okay. Enjoy your drink and let me know if you need anything else. Alright, let me give you Fairlight's card. Here you go. Dr. Yannick Fairlight. I've heard of him. So can I use Super your fucking guy? role now? Use the own system one? Uh, yep. Why are you giving me his card? Because I want a bloody... Um, I work for him. He's looking to buy a climate control room like yours. <laughs> He's getting on in years, and it would be useful for when he goes out and about. That's why we wanted to see it before. I need a close look at it to make sure it still suit his purposes. Uh, yeah, okay. She doesn't seem like she's buying it. I guess you can take it. Oh, she bought Don't it. Don't bust it, though. I scanned this card. And I swear, if you break my ROM, I'll be calling your boss. Ooh, boy. Here's the RFID key to access it. Thank you. Thanks, this Ramona. Will surely be useful for our needs. You're the best. Shall we go check it out? Yeah. Especially because this is a window, not a door. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that's embarrassing. How the fuck do I get out? Wait, I don't- I know there's this leave button, but... Is there no... okay. Okay, uh, Mr. Weatherroom, I'm gonna have to put this inside you for a while. Wait, what? Where is it? Did I take it? Wait, where is it? Where is it? 
Uh, I don't know. Is is Turing insulting another Rome? Let's not choose come. Hmm, this Rom has multiple different climate control settings. Oh, okay. Maybe we could make things a little more festive. Christmas is my favorite season. All right, sure. You want snow? Should you get I snow. Should I switch it to snow mode? Go for it. Oh boy. It's snowing? Okay people, I for one didn't bring any winter wear. Let's call it a day for now. <laughs> Good. Snow mode deactivated. Chair mode activated. No, I'm not gonna. Excellent work! While I still have doubts about the moral superiority of using subterfuge to disperse a protest, we at least accomplished our goal peacefully. It's fine. And to be frank, considering how the human revolution is clearly working against my personal interests, I won't waste many clock cycles puzzling that ethical quandary out. <laughs> hmm. Yes? Might I draw your attention to those youths over yonder? Uh huh. I see him. Counterculture clothing, obvious bad attitudes, and graffiti paraphernalia. Those could be our suspects who damaged my home in the name of revolution. You can't just say that. They just, you know, who knows? They might be actual nice people. Uh, well, suppose it couldn't hurt to check them out. Right. We should approach them cautiously as to not start a confrontation with the wrong individuals. They don't look that bad, do they? They may even point us to the true culprits. This guy just looks like a... I don't know, an octopus? This guy looks like a really... Oh no, they've noticed our attentions. Come along, maybe we can catch them. Oh my god, they're running away. They're actually bad. Oh my god. Never catch them on foot. Hold on, I'm calling for an auto cab of our own. You go do that. I know it seems a great deal of trouble for such a tenuous lead, but I have a hunch about them. Um, I wasn't intended on the idea of thinking that they were culprits until they started running when they saw us. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. Ah, uh, the auto cab is estimated to take five minutes to arrive. That's pretty fast in my opinion. We'll never be able to engage in pursuit fast enough to catch up to them. Hmm. Perhaps we what should call shame. Tomcat. Tomcat. Maybe they can do some bit of techno wizardry and stop that cab. Oh, sure. Bring them up. Excellent. Hold on while I connect us. Alrighty, I'll wait. Howdy, folks. Hey, Tomcat. Miss ya, babe. How's the search for the data cache going? Pretty Actually, nasty. Actually, that's what we're calling about, Tomcat. We may have located the perpetrators, but they eluded us and are making their escape in an auto cab. We attempted to use a cab of our own to tail them, but it hasn't arrived and they're getting away. Can you hack the cab and stop it? <laughs> can you hack this random cab out of nowhere? No can do, little guy. Security on those cabs is tight, and the dang thing will shut down its external net connection long before I get in. Unless... Uh-huh. Oh, I have an idea. Sit tight for just a sec. Nerd incoming. faster than spit on a skillet? What happened? I did a job a few years back and had to break into the city's central traffic network. Do me a favor and don't ask why. <laughs> uh. The back door I drilled into that long ago is still wide open. I'm logging into the traffic management system now. Holy shit, Tomcat. You are one amazing woman. Wait. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. 
They may not have fixed that back door, but they did install a new counter-intrusion VI. Oh, the damn thing is hot on my tail. Uh, what's a VI? Virtual intelligence. They're kind of like Turing, except less creative and inventive, and definitely not sapient. Hmm. But they're nasty enough at hunting down hackers and crackers, if you're willing to pay for a good one. I see. I gotta take care of this VI. I'm gonna need the two of you to handle the traffic system. Turn, I'm passing control to you. Hold tight. I'm gonna be doing some two sets of hands on one keyboard kind of hacking. Alright, you go do that. Just push on the map and load it up on Turn's face. Sorry, Turn. Okay, what do I do? Stop taxi. They're on the move. Then what do you want me to do? Here's how it works. Use your display map to keep track of their cab and redirect it back to you. Okay. You can trigger traffic nodes at intersections so the cab thinks the streets are blocked off. Do it right, and you should be able to steer them right back to you. Um... You just gotta make sure to stop them where you're at, or else they'll just go running off on foot. I'll put a goal marker on the map for you. You can trigger any node on the map at any time, so plan ahead. Alright. I'd say you'll have time for two moves every time they hit an intersection. If all right. they go off the map, though, you'll lose them. Alright, alright. Block every road that leads out of our grid, and watch the places with three exits you can't all cover in one go-around. Okay. Just hurry. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep this V out from messing on the carpet, and once I kill the connection, this little trick is over. I'll tap into the cab control node they're currently arriving at. Our top priority is to ensure they cannot leave the area Tomcat's given us access to. Okay. I'll mark the southern exit as closed first. Only have time to block off two routes before the auto cab will make a decision and move. We shouldn't block the route back here. We have to stop them where we can catch them. Okay. Once you get them back here, press the big button on top of the map to short wire the auto cab. Got it. Be careful. If you stop their ride anywhere else, they'll just run off. Got it. What do you think our next move should be? Here. Uh, don't let them go east, I suppose. Turn, I can't have you talking. It's messing with the signal. It's up to you now. Alright. Don't let those punks escape, and don't trap them anywhere that's not here. Sure. We can access any of the control nodes in the area at any time. Plan ahead, and we should be able to get them. This puzzle shouldn't be hard. All right. Uh, okay. Since you are here, I will block. I will block. Um. Actually, where should I block? Here, I suppose. You most probably go up, right? I guess I'll block you here. Alright, you have multiple places you would probably want to go to, so... I think I'll try to block you... Try to block you here... And here. Here, here. And here. Alright, hopefully you'll be able to go back here if... Please don't go this way. Please don't go this way. Oh my fucking god, you went that way. You're such a s <laughs> They're getting away. Well, I'm not smart at all. Don't panic just yet. I managed to force the cab to mosey back over to your grid. Thanks, Tomcat. You're the best. 
Vs. Definitely a one-shot trick, though. Those Vs are all over the path I used. I am so sorry. I'm such a dumbass. Be careful, y'all. This is your last shot. I got it. All right. Yeah. Uh, and this one. Where are you gonna go now, huh? We've got them now. Let's go. I'm gonna go stop them, and then we can interrogate the miscreants. Okay. Have fun. What the hell do you want? Do you have fun in that ride? Who do you think you're messing with, huh? You ain't got nothing on us. And if you don't get out of my way, I'll mess you up. Jesus Christ. Hey, what do you think we should do? Um... We haven't observed them doing anything illegal, and we could potentially make this go over smoothly. Or, we could share news of this encounter with Lexi before things get out of hand. So many options... Don't know... These two seem agitated already, and it may be best to make sure they're handled by the appropriate authorities. Those are the options I deduced. Questions or cops? It's up to you. How do you want to do this? Might want to question them first. Cops are gonna get us nowhere. It'll be smart to grill them and see what they know. We just have a few questions for you, sirs. If you'd be so kind as to give us a few minutes of your time. Let me guess what his reply is gonna be. Fuck you, no! Something like that. Did you not hear what I... Maybe we should just answer their questions. Oh. I mean, we didn't do anything wrong, right? Yeah, listen to the bald guy. Um, right! We ain't got nothing to hide! <laughs> sure. Now, what's in the bag? You a cop? Yeah, so? Cause if you ain't, we ain't got nothing in the bag! Wow. Well, what's the spray paint for? We're newbie street artists. I don't like this guy. These are the tools of our trade! These are all above board and legal. We just got done making a piece for a client. That's right! We're artists! <laughs> you know, I kind of like this guy's voice actor. He's pretty professional. I can hear it, you know? I mean, obviously we all can hear it. I mean, it just... It sounds nice, the, the way he says stuff, even though it is kind of annoying, his attitude. So, why'd you run? Running? Who's I running from? You calling me a coward? Uh, I don't think that's what they were insinuating. Yeah, chill the fuck out, Anne. Er, right! We just got places to get to, and gotta go fast! You're holding us up! Oh my god, he just said it. Gotta go fast! This is ridiculous. Enough! Stop assuming you can misdirect us with blustery words and feigned ignorance! Oh no, Turing is mad. I've matched the hues of those paints in the patterns of the bottom of your shoes with 95% accuracy to the scene of Hayden Weber's apartment. Oh jeez. Uh, thank you, Turing. I thought these two were actually, you know, now, tell innocent. Now what you were doing there and why you stole Hayden's data cache. Time to man up, boys. Now you're accusing us of stealing? Why I oughta... Chad, I think they're on to us. Maybe we just answer their questions so they don't go to the cops? I'm gonna go to the cops. Damn it, Oliver! I told you I'm Starfucker now! <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> your nickname is Starfucker? Okay. Okay. Sure. I only went along with this because you said we would go to a movie afterwards. <laughs> this is getting kind of funny. I don't even care about this human revolution stuff. Just because you're dad. Oh. Don't talk about my dad. 
fine. Whatever. <laughs> we'll answer name. your friggin' questions. <laughs> His name changed to Starfucker. Uh, so, let's get straight to the point. Why tag Hayden's apartment? Aw oh, man, no big reason. Bitch, you better have a good reason or I'm gonna deck you. I mean, he's a big hotshot researcher at Parallax, right? Uh huh. We heard a rumor his place was empty. Who's gonna pass up a sweet target like that? We don't need any more of this tech shit. Like your lippy ROM over there. Uh hmm. You know anything about Hayden's kidnapping? K kidnapped? He's been kidnapped? Shit! We ain't got nothing to do with that! We just sliced the door controls and trashed the place. Wasn't nobody there! And why did you take the data cache? I told you we didn't steal nothing! Be quiet, Chad! I don't want to go to Juvie! Here, you can have it. Huh, thank you. Okay, well, thanks for giving it back. I guess Turing was right. Oh, uh... Maybe you should give up vandalizing people's home, I mean, what the hell do you get out of it anyway? Yeah, whatever. Just get out of my way. We hope you find that Hayden guy. And we're real sorry. We weren't trying to hurt anyone. Yeah, I... Wait, no! No, you trashed the guy's home, that's not nice. Alright, let's go catch that movie. Guys have fun now. Great! Can we get dinner first? Sure, whatever you want. Uh, that's not right. Oh no, we broke the machine, didn't we? I'm certain I deactivated snow mode. Incoming call from Tomcat. Hey folks. Hey Tomcat. Jess just called and told me she has a clear way to the access node. She'll get you inside, and I'll walk you through connecting me so I can access the Parallax network. That should help our hunt. Oh my fucking god, you are the best, Tomcat. Did you get the data cache? Uh, yep. Yes, those punks happen to have it. Oh, great. We don't have time to worry about it right now, though. Go to Stardust and drop it off with Majid for me, okay? He'll hold it to pass on to me once I get there. Alrighty. I managed to trigger an alert within Parallax's network security, and they're gonna be moving their logs from one secure server to another. Uh, is it a, gonna be another minigame? No Alright. No problem, Tomcat. We'll make our way there directly after we return to Stardust. We can worry about the weather ROM's malfunction later. Sure. Let's go. Our mission for Jess is done. Okay. But first, I wanna go inside here. Hey! Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have. I told you jerks not to break my rock. Now I can't get it to stop snowing. Ramona, I'm so sorry. Can, can you call my boss, I, I guess? Those protesters are gone. But I'm still not gonna have any customers with it freezing like this. Oh dear. Hot cup is the perfect thing to warm me up. Or it'll do business good. Snow out of nowhere? I guess I'll wait it out in here. Ramona, you better thank me. Wow, look at it out there. So magical. Holy shit, it's packed. Uh, don't think I've forgiven you, you <laughs> Uh, I, better I like get Ramona. Some hot cups going. Well, all's well that ends well, right? I suppose you're right, Turing. I'll check the mesh for common issues with the mode selector on the 6703 ROM unit and forward the solutions to the Hassy Bar owner. Okay, yeah. I'm Whatever certain that meant. she'll be able to get it turned off after the customer rush. Why couldn't we have done it for her? But anyway, that's it for this part of Read Only Memories. Huh, it's pretty fun. 
Okay, so check the annotations at the end for more videos that I've played before and I'll see you guys in the next part of Read Only Memories. Stay frosty, y'all.